Good morning and thank you all. We are today in the Erskine Stewart Smellville School. I'm speaking with Stuart Jackson, who's the director of ICT. Um, Erskine Stewart Smellville are Europe's largest independent school, where we recently installed uh, a fleet of 27 RICO devices throughout the two schools um, and also implemented paper cut print management software along with two high volume conic minotas for their print room. Um, and that was done in Easter last year and also August of the summer. Sure, just going to talk a wee bit about uh, the whole scenario and the process of implementing the hardware and software for the organisation. Can you tell us about the process that you went through in um, selecting the hardware, the software and capital document solutions? Our, our timelines um, dictate that in order to get the contract in place and signed for in August, we'd really been needing to have agreed it all by January. So I was teeing up in August, September ideas of ways in which we could solve this problem. And the nut that we needed to crack was be able to print a number of different solutions to a number of different customers across the schools, across different sites. So we were looking at um, not just a whole fleet management solution, but also somebody that could provide us the component bits and then we'd fuse together, or indeed if we would buy component parts and then, and then use them. So uh, new into the the role, I wanted to have a look at it from a slightly different angle, use fresh eyes. And I'm very pleased to say that given the, where we've got to now, we are using exactly the same contract that we had last year. Mm -hmm. So given my fresh perspective on it, um, I haven't come up with any different solution than we, we had a year ago. So it's a testament to Capital Solutions and the products that you're providing and the team that you're working with that actually we didn't want to break what was a very very good fit. Way back in August, September, I was looking at different options and as, as you know, and I was open and honest with you about going to a different supplier, they gave us some quotes. By November, December, I was in a position to say, these are the ones I'd recommend to our senior management team. Yeah. And we re recommended staying with you. Uh, largely speaking, actually just slightly more expensive, but it was the hidden cost that we didn't know about with another supplier where what would really happen if X, Y or Z occurred and as we've discovered over the course of the last five or six months when it doesn't go according to plan, Capital have been very, very helpful in trying to make things right for us uh, and that's with the Conica Minolta's. Yeah. So yeah, that, that whole process starting in August, I was able to report by November, December, we were then signing contracts in February, Ross was doing an audit in March uh, or reporting on the audit in March, we'd been doing it for the previous month Yes. and then we were you there. You find audit very useful as a tool for yeah, you, Stuart. really helpful. And yeah. I said to you at the time, Ross McCauley, yeah. um, his intimate understanding of the way we operated was very, very powerful, I yeah. thought. And that wasn't the deciding factor, that was after we'd decided what we were going to do. Yeah. So it, it, it reinforced the route that we were going and okay. the decisions that we had made yes. and that we'd been making for years. Yeah. It clearly works. It's Something the fleet of desktops and MFDs and copiers, you know, we're talking about well over a hundred devices. So I, I was I was very impressed by that. It's the first time I've been through that process and Ross's understanding is second to none. Good. He knew more about the yes. operation than I do. Because Ross is part of the Capital Document Solutions team and there are many members within our team. Um, likewise, you, there was the Ersus Your Smellville team. Uh, can you tell us a wee bit about your team of it? So in our team, I'm really only the signatory, yeah. um, and I think the fewer people that are involved, the less confusing it is for capital, and the less confusing it is for our 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 own customers, our own clients within yeah. the SMS, with 590 members of staff and an extra 2,700 children. Yes. Lee Burley is the port of call yes. for everything computing um, based printing, yes. and for the hardware, and for the paper, and for... Uh, the software paper cut so Lee Burley is that go-to person yes and for the print room <coughs> it's Fiona and Mary yes and they as print room operatives they're the go-to people for all the large volume yes. stuff but then within your own team yes you know, we, we've got to know quite a few of your own team with Stephen and Joyce and yourself yeah um, and we're we're so closely linked with you that actually it's remarkable you you come in on site 
breeze in, breeze out, and it, it's it's testament to the relationship you have with the team on site. Yes, you can do that unannounced, uh, and when you want, I'm not saying that in a way that no. that, that means you're too casual about it, because when it's official and you want to do a visit or you want to make it something um, to show somebody else, or an occasion like this, you phone with lots of advance warning and, and ask rather yes. than state. But you're in and out of the site regularly, which which actually helps that communication. Yes. Because if something isn't right, um, we can speak openly and honestly to each other. Yeah. And we have had, let's be honest, mm -hmm. we have had the issue with the conicas of the Pullman. Mm -hmm. Were you impressed, as maybe a bit of a question, <coughs> but the way that Capital Document Solutions handled that issue? Because yeah. again, it wasn't just Mark Avery, and there's many other <coughs> persons that were involved in it. Mm. So I, I pop in to see Mary and Fiona regularly yeah. and one of the things I said to them recently was if that problem had occurred and we hadn't had the machines managed by a, an intermediary, Conica Minolta would not have fixed that problem, yeah. we would still have the problem. So it's testament to your team that that is now fixed because I don't think we would have solved that. That yeah. would still be a problem that we we'd just have to live with for the rest of the, the machine's lease or yes. life. So I think first and foremost that the answer is well done. <laughs> yeah, I think that has been fixed. The second thing, uh, which was almost a hidden um, uh, thing that impressed me, was none of your team, none of the Capital Solutions team, belittled the size of the problem because the yeah. problem, in my opinion, was not a deal breaker. It wasn't. You know, it was almost like you couldn't get fourth gear in a car, but you could get one, two, three, five, and six. So yes. you can cope without that. Yes. Um, in fact, it wasn't even as big a deal as that. Yes. Um, but the girls that operate the print room, um, they're fastidious for detail and they're very professional about what they do. Yes. And they were adamant that this was holding them up and they wanted it fixed. And right, it was so. the only person that was saying, actually, we really like machines, was me. So yes. when we met with your team, it was me that would say, we really like the speed, we really like the noise, we really like the software and the way that the touch screen works. Yes. Everything about them we like, uh, apart from this bit with the LCT tray. So yes. that actually is a really hidden message in that, that none of your team were defending what was really good about the product and, and using that as a code or a mask for what the fail was. <clears throat> they didn't ever do that, not once in any conversation. It was yes. always, we've done this, we've done this, and we haven't found the problem with the answer, so we're doing this and this. And yes. Stephen was updating me on a bi-weekly basis yes. about what the next step was. This hasn't worked. We're going to this stage. Yeah. We can't replicate the problem. All very scientific, actually, yeah. in the way in which he was tackling the issue. The, the issue. Yeah. And we felt completely informed. Hence, I'm, I don't think I ever picked up the phone to you. How important was it for you to visit our showroom and service centre to, to view the hardware, software, uh, the devices, how, how important was that for you? I thought, yeah, it was very useful. So to see Conic and Minolta's newer devices, yes. uh, that was a major part of our contract, those two new copiers. So to put yes. those in was huge. And uh, um, to go visit the site firsthand improved our understanding of what they could do, how they were configured, what their sizes were, the measurements, and that, that was yes. all part of the picture for us. But I think it was a deeper um, understanding than that because it improves dialogue by having having a visit, being sociable around a machine, talking about its qualities, its capabilities, but also getting to know each other a little bit better. Yes. So you met Joyce that day. I met Joyce that day. Yeah. Joyce drove me, drove me back to Edinburgh as well. So yeah. um, Joyce, and as we all know, is first class at training. Yes. She, if she was ever a teacher, she would have been a head teacher because she's very good at communicating <laughs> and yes. getting that point across. Yes. So um, all our team like working with Joyce and yes. it's nice for me to be able to meet Joyce, have lunch good. with Joyce. Yes. And that whole understanding of how capital works yes. is just... Develops a relationship. Yes. Well, point. Uh, like, when you're buying a product or solution, how important is value of a price for you? Mm. Uh, so, yeah, this is really important. I, um, if you were to asked me about an internet connection from my house, I'd yes. probably go for the very cheapest one possible. Yes. Whereas internet connection for here, mm -hmm. we actually need the best product and the price isn't irrelevant, Yes. but it's important the product's right. So we're, I took the same view of when we were looking to renegotiate the contract with the printers. It needed to be right. And that relationship that we have with you is 
absolutely not to be underestimated. A, a competitor of yours yes. couldn't come in easily and replicate what you're doing. Yes. Because there are there are too many. There's too much understanding of the way we operate in your team. Yes. Uh, for them to be able to do that successfully. So price isn't crucial. But there, there's another area of price which I, I, I'm impressed that your team haven't drilled us on really, and that's cost of paper for example yeah is we could buy paper that was incredibly cheap and destroyed your machines in the process yes we don't and nobody Thanks. in your team has said no, yeah. that's that's something that you're we're doing badly but when the conic and minolta rep was in yes um a couple of weeks ago he was advocating buying paper that was four or five times more expensive than the paper that we currently operate okay and your technicians recognized that that wasn't going to be wasn't feasible yeah, or... wasn't going to be feasible so yeah. it's nice to have that practical approach as well so if i if i had a fleet car i wouldn't put the, the most expensive diesel in it every time i drove it because yes. i want to protect the engine because it's not really my car yes um what's nice about the way we operate is we're not going to destroy your machines because yes. that that would clearly damage the relationship yes and then we'd be forced with having to go and get a competitor to come in and realistically do the job that you were doing, which yeah. I think would be a tall order. I'm intrigued to just, you know, do you discuss your working partnership with others, you know, people of similar roles as yourself mm. within the school sector, for example? Mm. Yeah. yeah, great question. We are, um, I see the way we operate with our, our competitors as being yes. really powerful. So Harriet's and myself and Edinburgh Academy yeah. and Watson's, we work quite closely together. Yes. So when I discuss our capital solutions solution to our printing question, yes. I discuss that with Harriet's. Mm. And two weeks ago, I was discussing with them how their move had gone yes. because they were also looking at the competitors that we had spoken about yes. um, that I teed up in August um, to give us a representative cost to compare with yourselves right. and they were with that supplier so that supplier used them as a reference document as a good um, working relationship and it was interesting to then get feedback from Harriet's on they've gone to Capital Solutions they're very happy with the service yes and that validates the decision we've made so I'm not making decisions in isolation I actually am putting my toe in the water with my competitors yes enemies if you like and asking them what their solution is and how they've arrived at that decision. Yeah. And it, actually, if we have come up with exactly the same answer based on a different set of eyes, that just justifies that we're making the right decision. I'd like to say a big thank you to Stuart Jackson from Nursery Resource Melville for taking the time there um, to discuss the implementation of the fleet of devices that were installed in Nursery Resource Melville School recently. And it's also good to hear from the customer's point of view what is important for them. Uh, and what came across loud and clear was the fact that teamwork, working with the Capital Document Solutions team, along with his team, working together, not against each other, but working together to pull that project off. The fact, things like the audit were very important to them, that helped, them, um, helped us pull that whole solution together. Um, and it added value to that particular project. I don't know if you know this, but the showroom visits came across loud and clear. The fact that, um, I'm going to call it three Ps, the people, the products and the premises. Stuart came along to Capital Document Solutions, he had a look around, he, he met our personnel and spent a lot of time with them and could really understand the value of what these people have to offer and the expertise that they have to offer. Apart from the products being wonderful as well, but the fact the three Ps, the people, the premises, and the products were all clearly important. Um, so that's the key points I'd like to pick up from that. So I'd like to say thank you for your time for listening.